I need advice on how to talk to my friend on his self sabotaging. One of my best friends has changed a lot the last couple years. He got a job, got himself an awesome girlfriend, and started to be what the stereotypical adult is. The last six or so months, he's turned that around and retreated into his former lifestyle. He's ignoring his girlfriend. He lost his job and all he wants to do is play video games. He spent seven years unemployed, living with his parents, playing video games. He is putting up walls against his friends and partner, not answering texts and rolling his eyes when we try to talk to him about serious stuff. He wants to just live an easy life. But adulthood isn't easy. How can I talk to him about this in a way that may avoid him putting up barriers? He tells me he loves his partner. He tells us he liked his job. But he's been not attending work and is straight up not responding to his partner's calls or texts. X200B TLDR How do I approach someone who historically disengages from his problems and hides in video? Games? Has he been assessed for depression? It sounds like you've tried plenty. One of the things we need to accept as adults is that we cannot control how other people behave. Only how we behave. So try to get through to him for as long as you feel like it. But at some point you need to ask yourself. When does a self-destructing friend become an acquaintance who has lost all his friendships and relationships because he couldn't understand that they require work on both parties instead of expecting everyone to just give 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 meeting people where they are can be difficult i'm fighting a similar battle with a close friend now and have found that listening and letting them come to me with questions gets the best results but i've got no quick fix and that kind of patience is a double-edged sword what if they're too far gone by the time they Realize you're a safe space? I don't have answers. Only to say that being there for them, listening to them, joining their interest, are all good ways to let them see you're a trusted friend. You can't. You need to stop trying to change this guy's life. I knew a person just like this. No matter how much people tried to step in and intervene, his choices led him to this place. You can't fix him don't you realize he's aware of what he's doing? Ultimately, he has to want to change. One thing you can do, if you have not already, is talk about challenges you faced or negative feelings you had about your job GF responsibilities. Sometimes it is helpful to see that other people don't have it all together. They just keep trying in the face of adversity. I think he might need to feel the consequences. The kindest thing you can do is not enable him by helping him live this lifestyle. Simple text Hey buddy, I am worried about you. I want to help. So just know that I am around if you want to talk. You can't force someone to deal with their problems or get professional help. It's really going to be up to him. I just reaffirm you or his friend take it from there. He may have to get a lot lower and lose more before he starts to cope again. Which is painful to watch. Being non-judgmental and encouraging without trying to fix someone is really all you can do. You're a good friend. How is he supporting himself at 31 with no work? Maybe talk to his parents or GF or whoever is paying his bills. It's your friend's burden to bear. There's nothing you can do. Your friend has to help themselves and if they don't want to then you can't force it on them. Just be there for them and be patient. Don't be mean or try to say what they should or shouldn't do. You don't live their life so you have no say in how they should live. Honestly he's a grown fucking man. Let that shit go. I'm in a very similar situation with someone close to me. A lot of the time when I try to bring it up he'll get very defensive. I think the best way to handle this is to let him figure it out himself. Because people always have that moment of realization and there's not a lot we can do other than stick by and support them when the time comes.
intervention, group up. If everyone says it at once maybe he'll listen. This is intervention territory in my eyes. Are you aware of any potential addictions he may have? You did not cause it. You cannot control it him. You cannot cure it him. Just make sure you do not enable him. Whatever constructive criticism you plan on telling him, I can assure you he already knows. That's why he rolls his eyes when he hears it. It sounds like he's depressed. And there aren't any words you can say to und press him. So just be there for him. Tell him you understand if he doesn't want to talk. But you're there for him if he ever wants to. And offer to just hang out doing something fun. With no serious talk involved unless he brings it up. I don't think there's much you can do. If we're being honest. I had a friend like that and I spent a lot of time and money trying to put them on a similar path. To me. Which is what they said they always wanted. They continue to make every choice to revert back to their old ways. We have more limited contact now. But they seem as happy as ever with their degenerate from my pov lifestyle. If you can't understand why someone would want to shut themselves away into video games in this day and age, you'll probably never reach your friend. If you can't show empathy he will never take your advice. Some people have different ideas of success I for one find the 50-hour workweek travel all. The time starts six businesses and have seven hobbies American dream exhausting and sounds horrible. I am happy with a simple life but have lost a lot of friends being an introvert I prefer gaming and solitude. It is a bit concerning he quit his job but working fucking sucks and if he can make ends meet. Without it then who cares? If you love your friend, get with his girl and it'll enrage him into a massive life comeback. He'll go to the gym, care about himself, and work harder than ever before. You can say something like, I've noticed these patterns insert examples. I'm concerned because insert your worries. Have you considered seeking therapy to help you navigate these patterns and build coping skills? I wouldn't say much more as you need to also mind your lane and respect boundaries. If it becomes too challenging for you to see your friend go through this, then you need to set better boundaries or build space. Well you ignore him and stop being his friend best case his parents kick him out and he's on the streets for a few weeks. Have you asked him why? Honestly, a lot of people hate the slog of their jobs. They don't feel passionate about the work they do or being a wage slave. Asking him honestly may give you a better perspective to help him. Also, with the girlfriend does he even like her? It's okay if he doesn't. But he should break up with her if he has no interest with her instead or just ignoring her. It is very be likely he has mental health issue of some kind and it won't get better without actual professional help. You can't fix him and should not make him your project. What people around him can do is to stop enabling don't pay his bills. Don't clean. Nothing and anything. That includes girlfriend. Obviously. That does not mean you can't be his friend. You can. But you need to maintain boundaries and need to accept that he needs to make the key decisions. Not you. You can't do anything about him. He needs to see the problem himself. And some people learn after being told one time. And others have to fall rock bottom without any help to see it. As much as you hate seeing your people put himself in the position that he is in. He is going to continue this path until he wants to make a change. You should tell his GF the same thing too. Both cut your losses. I'm not religious. But God helps those who help themselves so he is the only one to be aware of needing to change. He is an adult, just let him be.